Hey guys, so before I start this video, I just want to say that this video might be slightly different from what I usually do. I got this video inspiration from a guy called Disrupt. So basically, it's just this guy that makes short films of VR and games and all these kind of things. His YouTube will be in the description below. We're not really friends. He's much higher up there. I'm just someone who loves his work and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, support us creators and we really appreciate it. So thank you guys for watching in advance. If you guys want to see me do more gaming or do other games, leave them in the description. Also, if you have any other video suggestions, then I'm open to hear them. So thank you guys for watching. On to the video. I never had a definite answer to when people would ask me what my favorite game was. But during the Christmas of 2016, I bought this game. I never thought I'd play this much until recently. But before we get so deep into this game and why I love it so much, let's just throw back to over a decade ago. I can remember so clearly, and my parents probably don't remember. But when I turned 7, the clown at my birthday party asked me what I wanted to be when I grew up. And the fanciest job I knew how to say back then was architect. Now. I learned that word specifically because I used to always play with building blocks like duels, Lego ripoffs, and the word construction really stuck to me. So growing up, I've dreamt of becoming many things. As you guys have seen, an architect, and in primary school, a programmer, and then in senior high, a film director. But I guess I'm a fan of looking back onto myself and finding a solution of my problems within me. So that's when I found myself on Christmas Day on Steam's Christmas sale, buying this game using my money unwisely. But I played the game anyway, and for the first two and a half years, I encountered all kinds of problems like people getting sick, buildings getting abandoned, traffic, poor road design, and just all problems that made me think too hard and to fail. <sighs> which led me to quitting the game midway. But last month, I fired it up again and started on a new piece of land. Just played without being too worried yes. and I ended up yes, in the capital finally. city. Yes. Working bus stations, a university, proper road system. I guess I took too much time being too pissed with things that weren't perfect. Well, in reality, I just needed to give it a bit more time for it to grow to what it was meant to be. And through the game, I learned to take and fix my problems as they come, and I shouldn't worry too much about what to do next. I learned that there's two ways to see life and life's problems, logically and holistically. And for me, it's a balance. There's a fixed way to do things, to life's problems, mathematically I'd say. But on the other side, I think I'm that kind of person that would go and search another way and try to make it work. So last month, not only has a game like City Skylines taught me so many more important things than normal things in life taught me, but I learned how video games in general are always going to be much more than people think they are. So, why am I here making a film on my favorite game and how it taught me the lessons it did? Because the more I play, the more I realize why I love it. Because it helped me align my past, who I am now, and what I want to do. To make my own world, make people happy, help provide people with what they need, and I guess, the main reason to play this game, and why I do what I do with my films, to make a better place in the ways I can. Now, there are more lessons if you choose to see the bigger picture. We can find lessons if we're open to find them. I could talk about that for a long time. But that's for another video. So thank you guys for watching this slightly different video. If you guys want to see me do some gaming videos, leave a like and comment down below which games I should play. 
Oh my god. See you next Sunday. Insane. Same time, in different place. Because we're always on the road. So stay awesome. And play games when you need to. Peace. I think I just n <laughs> <laughs> Yo <laughs> That was some nasty stuff. What the heck? So gay.